We bring you the latest breaking news as President Biden just approved a significant raise in Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits just five minutes ago. This is a momentous announcement that will impact millions of Americans and their financial well-being. First off, the big question, how much is the raise? It's a whopping $5,500. That's right, folks. $5,500 in increased benefits for those who rely on these crucial programs to support their livelihoods. ETs talk about who this raise affects. Social Security beneficiaries, individuals on SSI, and those receiving SSDI benefits will all see a significant boost in their income. This means retirees, people with disabilities, and many others who rely on these programs are about to get a welcome financial boost. We'll break down the nitty-gritty details of the budget announcement itself. What are the specifics? How will this change be implemented? We've got you covered with the latest insights and analysis. Welcome to Money Matters, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. Navigating the complex landscape of social security disability insurance, SSDI, benefits is crucial for millions of Americans who rely on this program for financial support. Let's take a deeper dive into the key factors that can significantly impact your SSDI benefits. One of the primary considerations is the income threshold. If you start earning at least $1,040 per month, or $1,740 for those who are blind, you may run the risk of losing your SSDI benefits. This income limit is in place to ensure that the program primarily serves individuals with disabilities who are unable to engage in substantial gainful activity. Understanding the implications of this threshold is vital for beneficiaries, as exceeding it could result in the reduction or cessation of benefits. We'll explore strategies to manage your income while preserving your SSDI support such as part-time employment within the program's guidelines and income exclusions. Another critical factor to consider is the status of your health. SSDI benefits are designed to assist individuals who are unable to engage in substantial gainful activity due to a severe medical condition. If your health significantly improves to the point where you are no longer considered disabled according to Social Security's criteria, you may lose your SSDI benefits. This situation can be both a relief and a challenge as it signifies improvement in your health but requires careful financial planning for the transition away from disability benefits. We'll discuss the importance of ongoing medical documentation and the appeals process if you disagree with the determination of your disability status. On a more positive note, if you're a military service member who sustained an injury while on active duty on or after October 1, 2001, there's a potential avenue for expedited processing of your SSDI application. This means that your claim could be processed more swiftly providing you with the financial support you need during your recovery. We'll outline the eligibility criteria and explain how this expedited process can be a lifeline for those who have served their country and now require assistance due to a service-related disability. We'll delve into the concept of expressing a dire need to expedite SSDI benefits. This is a critical option if you find yourself facing extreme financial hardship, such as a lack of food, essential medication, or the imminent threat of eviction or foreclosure due to financial instability. We'll guide you through the process of crafting a compelling, dire need letter to your local Social Security Administration, SSA, office. Including thorough documentation of your dire circumstances is paramount, as it strengthens your case for expedited assistance. Navigating the complexities of Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, can be a challenging and often emotional journey. When faced with the distressing news of a denied SSDI application, it's crucial to remember that there is hope in the form of an appeals process. Let's delve deeper into this process to provide you with the insights you need to increase your chances of success. After an initial SSDI denial, you have several levels of appeals at your disposal, with one of the most pivotal stages being the request for a hearing with an administrative law judge, ALJ. While there's no guaranteed outcome, filing your appeal early in the process significantly improves your odds. This hearing provides an opportunity to present your case, share crucial evidence, and have your situation evaluated by an impartial authority. It's important to approach this process with patience and determination, as it can take some time to reach a resolution. Knowing the statistics can be empowering. The approval rates for SSDI appeals are, on average, around 45%, while roughly 35% of appeals result in denials. Around 20% are dismissed. These figures underscore the importance of presenting a compelling case. To increase your chances, Consider enlisting the services of an experienced attorney who specializes in SSDI cases. They possess the expertise to navigate the intricate legal aspects of the appeals process, improving your chances of success. One of the most effective strategies to avoid the pain of denial is to ensure your initial SSDI application is meticulously completed. The Social Security Administration, SSA, can reject applications for inaccuracies underscoring the importance of attention to detail. Thoroughly double-check all the information you provide. This includes an accurate account of your employment history, complete with dates, employers, job titles, and duties. Equally important is comprehensive documentation of your medical treatment, 
including the names of doctors and hospitals, along with the dates of treatment. Providing a clear and detailed picture of your situation can expedite your application and reduce the likelihood of denial. It's worth mentioning Supplemental Security Income, SSI which is administered by the SSA. SSI is designed to provide financial support to individuals over 65 and those with disabilities who have limited or no income. Eligibility hinges on your income and assets, with higher income levels potentially resulting in a reduced SSI benefit. Understanding the criteria for SSI can help you make informed financial decisions while pursuing SSDI benefits. Whether you're currently enrolled in the program or simply seeking clarity on how this payment structure operates, you're in the right place. So, Let's shed some light on the intricacies of SSI back pay. When you're approved for SSI benefits, it's crucial to understand that you won't receive a single lump sum payment covering the entirety of what you're owed. Instead, the Social Security Administration, SSA, adopts a structured approach. Your back pay is divided into three installments. The first installment, approximately one-third of the total amount owed, arrives shortly after your approval. This initial payment offers immediate financial relief, helping you meet your pressing needs. The second installment follows six months later, providing ongoing support as you navigate your life with SSI benefits. This regularity in payments ensures a steady stream of income to help you maintain stability. Finally, the third and final installment arrives another six months later, completing the disbursement of your back pay. This staggered approach is designed to help beneficiaries manage their finances effectively, providing support over an extended period. It's essential to note a few critical details regarding SSI back pay. First, SSI doesn't offer retroactive payments which would cover the period before your application date. Therefore, your benefits will commence from the month you apply and are approved, and you won't receive payments for any period before that. Additionally, there's a threshold to consider. If your SSI back pay exceeds three times the maximum monthly SSI payment, which stands at $914 in 2023, you won't receive it as a lump sum. Instead, it's distributed to you in those three installments spaced at six-month intervals. This approach helps maintain financial stability for beneficiaries by preventing a sudden influx of funds that might disrupt their eligibility for other assistance programs. Understanding how SSI back pay works is fundamental to managing your financial situation effectively. It ensures that you can meet your immediate needs while also ensuring ongoing support for the months ahead. We hope this explanation has clarified any questions you may have had about SSI back pay whether you're currently receiving SSI benefits or contemplating an application. Having a comprehensive understanding of these payment intricacies is essential. So, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of SSI payment dates and the pivotal role played by back pay. Securing approval for SSI benefits is a process that often stretches over several months. Testing your patience. However, here's a crucial revelation, in certain situations. You may qualify for payments that cover the period between your initial application date and the moment you receive official approval. This financial bridge. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.